We've been talking about exothermic and endothermic processes, and I've been trying to convince you that boiling is actually endothermic. And that's actually kind of hard to believe. Most people think it's exothermic because it has to be so hot. Well, what I have here is a bottle of acetone. This is the same stuff that's in nail polish remover. Okay, so I'm going to pour some of that in here. And the nice thing about acetone is that it has a high vapor pressure. That is, it has a low boiling point, is another way to say that. And if I reduce the pressure in the flask enough, I can actually get it to boil at the temperature that it's at. Now, this isn't something you can easily see, either on camera or in person here. So you might have to just trust me. I'm going to actually turn this around this way. We're going to start this off. It is uh, 22 degrees Celsius inside the flask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the aspirator. And the aspirator is connected via this hose here to a tightly closed flask. And that will allow me to reduce the pressure, as you saw when we did that lab, in which we did the vacuum filtration. So immediately it starts to bubble. That's boiling. Okay, and as I touch it here, it definitely is starting to feel a little cooler. It's already down to 21 degrees Celsius. We have allowed it to run for a few minutes here. I've had some students come up and verify with their own hands that it does, in fact, feel cold to the touch. Okay. And it, uh, at the lowest point, it read about 9 degrees Celsius. Right now, it's 11 degrees Celsius. So we went from 22 degrees Celsius to 9 degrees Celsius by boiling the entire time. Boiling is an endothermic process, and I hope you're convinced by that.